What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my kitchen. Seriously, I feel like I've stumbled upon magic. After spending years of following goofy diets, none of them being sustainable, only ever being able to hold on to my leanness for maybe a month at a time if I was lucky. I'm now waking up every day a little bit better. And on top of that, I'm not starving myself the entire time. I'm eating good, man. Eating real good. The anabolic diet changed my life and hopefully with these videos, it's changing yours too. Ladies and gentlemen, we got an epic video today. Pop quiz. Where do you find the lowest quality quality meat in America. Err, uh, wrong. Not Florida's beaches, but at Taco Bell. And I ain't hating on the bell. We've had many of you good times together, especially at 3 a.m. after a long night out with the boys. You drive through, spend 10 bucks and get 20 pounds of food. But the combination of fatty meat, full fat cheese, all them calories ain't doing nothing for our physiques. So today we're going to change that. We will be making an anabolic crunch wrap supreme layer upon layer of cheesy, beefy goodness. And don't be intimidated if this looks complex, because I promise I promise you guys, this is way easier than you think it is. You just need me to show you how to do it. And by God, once you put this thing together and take a bite of it, you're gonna be sailing the seven seas in style. Like a boss. As always, man, the RJF recipe book, link in description, has been updated. This recipe is now in there along with the Oreo McFlurry, anabolic crispy bacon mac and cheese, all these videos that are dropping, guys, I give you full breakdowns, every ingredient, every macro. That way you don't gotta worry about it. You got a handy little guide right in your pocket, man. Make America cook again. That ain't a political statement, bud. That's just trying to get y'all in the kitchen. Yeah. So if you guys are ready to get another epic video underway, then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it! Yeah. For step one, grab your food scale. It should be attached to your hip at this point. Then we'll go ahead and get the meat out the way. And what we're using is 96% lean ground beef. It's the leanest ground beef you can buy. If there's any leaner, I haven't seen it yet. You compare this to like full fat ground beef, I mean, we're saving like 200, 300 calories off rip. Make better choices. So I'm gonna weigh out 112 grams. Now to season the beef, we don't want to use regular store-bought taco seasoning. We're going to add unnecessary calories. I think we can use a secret blend of herbs and spices and get an even better flavor with no extra calories. So starting off, we need one gram of chili powder, one gram of paprika, one gram of kosher salt, one gram of oregano. I know this ain't a pizza, but I'm telling you guys, this is going to do something good for us. And one gram of crushed red peppers. So now we got our lean beef and we got our seasoning. You don't got to do this step. If you're just trying to eat, skip it. But if you're trying to feast, do this. I got a pan preheating right here, hit it with some nonstick spray, then just throw your beef in. Give her a quick little chop to get her in smaller pieces. If you've been preheating your pan, this is gonna cook really fast. Once she's in little pieces, throw in your seasoning and then mix it all together. And after just a few minutes, it'll be done. So we pull it off and set it to the side. Then I'm just gonna transfer my meat to a bowl because we gotta use this pan again. Now, in order to have an actual Crunchwrap Supreme, we're gonna need a burrito. And trust me, you want a big one, which is why I'm using these Mission Burrito Tortillas. Big enough to cram them full of stuff and fold them up and only 200 calories. So if you can find a big burrito, you're gonna need it. So we got our one tortilla. The problem is they're not very pliable. So we wanna add a little bit of flexibility to it. So what I'm gonna do is preheat my pan to a low heat, hit it with a light coating of nonstick, and then toss my tortilla in there. This will only need about 30 seconds on each side. So you don't wanna overdo it. You wanna to be just right. After about 20 seconds, just give her a little flip in there. She'll have colored a little bit, but not too much. And just give her about 20 more seconds to finish up. And once she's done, sit her on a flat surface and we're gonna start building. First layer is gonna be our 112 grams of 96% lean beef. If you could smell these spices, guys, I guarantee you'd be getting moist. Keep it towards the middle, pile her up, and you're good to go. Next up, we wanna measure about 56 grams of fat-free cheddar cheese. I don't even think you can call it a crunch wrap without it. Now we'll just go ahead and spread it all on top. Once again, try to keep it towards the middle. That's a trade secret, bud. I ain't even charging you for it. Next up, we want about 56 grams of pico de gallo. And to be honest, not even entirely sure what all this consists of. I think it's onions, tomatoes, other stuff in there. But I do know one thing. Tastes amazing and it's only like 10 calories. Worth it, bud. We'll go ahead and just lay this right on top too. I ain't lying to y'all. You're gonna love this thing, I promise. Took me like seven tries to perfect it, but bud, we nailed her now. 
We are literally almost done, guys. We just have one final step. In order to make it a crunch wrap supreme, we need the crunch. Normally, you'd put a tostada on it, and we're gonna do that, but we're putting our best foot forward here. We're making a better choice. Instead of a deep fried tostada loaded with fat, lots of calories, we're gonna use a baked one. Instead of 130 calories for one tostada, we only have 40. I don't know about y'all, but I'm cool with that math. So what we're gonna do for the final little flavor burst is weigh out 64 grams of refried beans, fat-free, loaded with fiber, got some protein in there, and we're just gonna spread it out on our tostada. Now here's the kicker, guys. You wanna spread it out, but you wanna be super gentle with this tostada because we do not wanna break it. Obviously, if we did, we could just grab another one, but you know, I'd rather eat my food, not throw it away. And when you're finished, that's how she should look. Now you just want to take your tostada and lay it bean side down right on top and press down a little bit. Once again, not too hard because this tostada will break if you do. Flatten her out to the best of your ability. Now this is probably the hardest part, but in my opinion, it's really easy. Just don't overthink it. Give it a try. And if you mess up, grab another tortilla and try again. So take one side, flip it up, take another, fold it up, take another, fold it up. See what we're doing here? Slowly but surely working. And you might have some minor rips as this goes, but don't stress it too bad, man. It's going to turn out just fine. Flip that up. All right, check this out. See why we put the tostada right here? So here's how this has to go down. I can't do a bunch of fancy angles because I gotta be able to set this crunch up on here perfectly. So I'm gonna hit it with some nonstick. It's been preheating on a low heat. I gotta carry it over like this and you wanna very carefully sit it on here with your sides locked down so they cook into place. Be careful, I burned myself a time or two doing this. Right here, slowly but surely. Hey, boy, we got her. All we're gonna do at this point is observe the crunch wrap. It's gonna need about three to five minutes on that low heat to lock those edges in. That way it doesn't fall apart as soon as you pick it up. So just stand back, relax, take in the aromas, and just be ready to flip it when that time comes. So after a few minutes, what we'll do, get underneath it with a spatula, give her a nice flip. Ooh, see how it basically all locked in? And boom, our anabolic crunch wrap is done. Hear that, boys? That's the sound of gains. You guys already know, we gotta do a cut test. I'm gonna get right down the middle here. Try to saw through this bad boy. Did you hear that crunch? Come on, baby. Ooh, how's she looking, baby? Ooh, that smells like money. We got the beef, the melty cheese, the crispy tostada on bottom, that crispy top. I mean, this is literally everything you'd want in a crunch wrap. And on top of all that, she's anabolic. All right, guys, we've been staring at it long enough. Let me pull up a chair, strap on the old feed bag, and let's get to trying this thing together. You guys ready? Let's Let's go. All right, guys, it is go time, man. Hopefully, you guys are watching this video and that thumbnail turned out good. Some of these, man, I'm just, I'm taking the thumbnail and I know it probably doesn't do how delicious the recipe is justice. So you gotta make this one. You gotta tag me on Instagram. Master the folding technique. Be patient sitting it in the pan. You're gonna be just fine. And more anabolic. Since this one's a little more spicy, gotta get the drink ready. Sour Moon Rock Aminos with caffeine. Give me a little kick, a little bit of flavor, a little half scoop in there. You don't need much, boy. Give her a twist. Look at that, Brandon. Sip. Tastes like Jeff Bezos' triple filtered drinking water. Available at FinalBossFormers.com, Amazon.com, free two day shipping, RJ of 10, you know to drill people. I've been waiting long enough, man. We're just gonna hop into it. Let's do this crunch wrap first right here, man. Ooh, look at that with that crispy top. You guys ready? Three, two, one, let go. Mmm, I don't lie to you guys. This is better than any Crunchwrap Supreme I've ever gotten from Taco Bell. And it's twice the size and probably still less calories. Mm -hmm. The pico de gallo, the beans, the meat, and that meat seasoning, boy! You gotta trust me, she's fire. A little spicy, but if you've been eating anabolic, I think you can handle it. Mm. The tortilla, the crunch from the tostada, the cheese. We got ourselves a real winner here, people. Mm. If you follow me on Instagram, you've been seeing me eat these for like the last like four days straight, because I've been trying to perfect it. I ain't gonna throw something goofy together. If I don't think it's 100% good, it never makes a channel, it doesn't make the book. Understand, if I post it, by God, I've eaten it. And I'm still eating it. Mmm. This is so good. I could eat this every single day. And as I always preach on this channel, man, no small portions. We're eating. We're not starving ourselves. We're feeling ourselves the right way. Making better choices, man. Like I always preach, this is the most sustainable diet I've ever done because I'm not depriving myself, guys. I'm eating stuff like this. French toast, pizza, whenever I want. It's not hard, man. Protein intake and calories. Watch my anabolic diet explained video. I break it down in the simplest
best terms possible. If you can do what I say in that video, you will see success with this diet no matter what. Home. We still got another half left, man. If that camera focuses, look how that locked in there, right? We're not worried about that falling apart. You cook it down, it sticks, and you're totally fine. Got a little tostada shield there. Seriously, I'm so proud of this recipe. It's not even funny, man. Just the seed, the way it all comes together. I'm so happy with this. Mm. You gotta make it. You got five dollars. So in this entire recipe, if you do it exactly how I did it, you end up with 525 calories, only nine grams of fat, 52 grams of protein, 59 grams of carbs, four grams of fiber. Perfect meal size, man. I eat 2,500 calories a day. This is one fifth of my meals. Ain't that something? Mm. 52 grams of protein. That's a quarter of my daily goal. This ain't rocket science, people. You don't gotta follow no goofy diet. You don't gotta make chicken, rice, and broccoli. I used to do it. I used to preach it. But now I've been converted. I've saw the light. And I'll never go back to that way of thinking again. If you have the RJF recipe book, link in description. This recipe is now in there along with every one of my other anabolic recipes. If you're trying to follow this diet and you want to do it right and you want a little guide right in your pocket that way, you want pizza, you pull it up, you know exactly what you need. Your grocery list is right here. You got it figured out. You just got to get in the kitchen and cook, man. Link in description, guys. You get it one time. You get every future recipe for free. I'm in this kitchen all the time. I'm constantly adding to it, guys. You want to change your life? By God, this is a good first step. And if you want to take all the thinking out of it, you don't have to worry about it. You just want to be able to fill out a questionnaire, have someone that's experienced create you a program to follow. All you got to do, once again, weigh it out, track it, and follow it, and you'll get results. Check out my site, RemyTJamesFitness.com. I'm a personal trainer. I can make you a diet plan. You just got to do it, bud. You just got to do it. Appreciate all you guys, as always, for watching the video. Smash that thumbs up button. Comment anything down below. It all helps. It really does. Subscribe if you're not subscribed, and until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I will see each and every one of y'all at the next video. See you guys. Mm -hmm. That crunch, baby. Can't beat that crunch.